Imagine something even more dynamic, visually more distinctive, technically even closer to the core. The new 911 GT3 RS. The 911 GT3 RS is 44 millimeters wider across the rear axle than the 911 GT3. The rear wing is made from genuine carbon fiber. Not only is it lighter than the 911 GT3 version, its greater surface area generates additional rear end downforce. Both wing designs are fully adjustable, enabling optimum stability even at high speed. The rear screen is made from lightweight plastic, saving approximately 3 kilos on the standard glass design. Distinguishing features include contrasting color on the wheels, side logos, and exterior mirrors. The front spoiler from the 911 GT3 has been specially modified to create a corresponding increase in front end downforce. The passenger compartment on both 911 GT3 models is specially designed for the extreme demands of racing use. In addition, the 911 GT3 RS has an all-black interior. Both models have an Alcantara finish on the steering wheel rim, gear knob and handbrake level. On the 911 GT3 RS, the steering wheel is marked at the 12 o'clock straight ahead position. As a result, the driver is constantly aware of the current steering angle. Standard features on the 911 GT3 RS include the club sport package and lightweight bucket seats which are optional on the 911 GT3. The door storage compartments are replaced by energy absorbent panels offering additional side impact protection. The 911 GT3 RS is powered by the same flat six engine as the 911 GT3. This 3.6 liter unit develops 415 brake horsepower, 305 kilowatts, with maximum torque of 405 newton meters. Top speed on both models is 193 miles per hour, 310 kilometers per hour. The 911 GT3 RS is approximately 20 kilograms lighter than the 911 GT3. The result is a power to weight ratio of 301.8 brake horsepower per ton. That's 4.3 more than the 911 GT3. The 911 GT3 RS is one-tenth quicker to 100 kilometers per hour, requiring as little as 4.2 seconds. Power is transmitted on both 911 GT3 models through a short throw six speed manual gearbox featuring a high precision gear shift action. While the 911 GT3 has a dual mass flywheel, the RS model has a single mass design created for racing use. Its lightweight construction provides a noticeable improvement in engine dynamics, particularly in the first three gears. The engine revs quickly to the electronic limiter, enabling rapid and immediate acceleration. The price of that performance is an increase in noise compared with a more road-oriented dual-mass design. The 911 GT3 is designed for occasional racing use. The 911 GT3 RS for the occasional trip by road. The suspension, for example, is specially configured for competition driving. The rear track is wider than on the 911 GT3, enabling higher lateral acceleration, faster cornering and even greater resistance to body roll. As on the 911 GT3, the ride height, camber, toe angle and anti-roll bar settings can all be individually adjusted. The 911 GT3 RS has split rear wishbones enabling greater accuracy when setting up the camber for the racetrack. The wheelbase is 5 millimeters longer than on the 911 GT3, enabling greater stability and performance. Like the 911 GT3, the 911 GT3 RS is equipped with 19-inch GT3 alloy wheels as standard. The rear wheel offset is smaller than on the 911 GT3 due to the wider rear wheel track. The wheels are fitted with road-approved sport tires, producing excellent traction and grip. 
Both 911 GT3 models have the same powerful standard braking system. They can also be equipped with an optional brake technology run by every team in the Porsche Michelin Super Cup. The Porsche Ceramic Composite Brake. PCCB. Lighter. More dynamic. Even more unique. A car that gives you everything. All it demands is respect. The new 911 GT3 RS. Origin Motorsport Part 2.